Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the Japanese apartment I'm staying at in Kyoto, Japan. It's a pretty small apartment, only being made up of four different rooms. If you count the bathroom, shower room, and hallway to the door as rooms. So in reality, there's really only, let's be honest here, two rooms, just one room to the door, and then one room as the bedroom. So it's pretty small. It's very much a bachelor pad, but that doesn't matter because it's in a pretty convenient location, if I do say so myself, because Kyoto Station is only about a 15 minute walk. And I'm staying at it for only $30 a night through Airbnb. So I really cannot complain, you know what I'm saying? I really cannot complain. The reason I'm not in the apartment right now is because I wanted to just go ahead and show you guys just a little bit of the area surrounding the apartment just before I go ahead and move inside and give you guys the full tour of the $30 apartment I'm staying at in Kyoto, Japan. I can't remember whether I clarified I'm staying in an apartment in Kyoto, Japan, specifically in Kyoto, Japan. But either way, now I have, you know what I'm saying? This is the little back alley next to the building though. Very, very, very nice little back alley. There's a very big apartment building here. Uh, this is not where the apartment is. And there's more over there. There's a, a car park right here and everything like that kind of thing. Pretty nice if I do say so myself. There's a vending machine right there. Very convenient if I do say so myself. Vending machines in Japan are just about some of the most convenient things on earth. I ain't gonna lie y'all. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. This is though right here the apartment building I'm staying at. I'm not gonna walk inside just quite yet because I wanna go ahead and just show you guys the main street the building is on and everything like that kind of thing. We can see if you if we go up, here we go, away from Kyoto Station. Kyoto Station is that way kind of thing through there, but you can just go up to a bunch of temples, up to like the old Imperial Palace and everything like that, up there, up that way. And then if you go down this way, there is a little bit of a uh, bar and like veggie place. There's two, there's two vending machines right there and everything like that kind of thing. And there is a 7-Eleven down the road. Now past that 7-Eleven is the closest smoking area, which is where I have to go to have a cigarette. It's not the closest, I will admit, but for $30 a day, I can ignore it. I ain't gonna lie on. I think I got some water. Is there water on my, there's, there's water. <laughs> There's water on, oh no, my, I'm all wet as well kind of thing. Well, I'm gonna clean that off in just a moment once I get inside. I'm gonna go ahead and actually walk inside the apartment right now. I feel like I showed you guys a good amount of the area around it. I'm not gonna show you guys the passcode that I need to use to get in, but here's the little passcode box and everything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the passcode real quick. And there we go, we are in. And I'm gonna talk very quietly now, so I just have to walk up this flight of stairs right here. Go up a little bit. Just go up just a little bit. Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And my room is right here. So this is my room. I'm staying in 203, you know what I'm saying? And let's see. Okay, so how do I open this? I'm not gonna show you guys the room lock either. And then I just open it like that. And there we go, just like that. And stepping inside, we can see there are indeed three locks, which I appreciate. I'm not a trusting person. Let's go ahead and get all three of these going. If I can get the hotel lock going as well. There we go. And there we go. All three locks. Uh -huh. It's perfect amount of locks. Actually, I could use more locks in all honesty. I could use more locks. I'm going to go ahead and just step on. I just took off my shoes and everything like that kind of thing. As it specifies, no street shoes. So I can't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? I can't be doing that. We can see this Airbnb. Uh, checkout time, 10 o'clock. I uh, got to keep my voice down. I'll be trying to during this video. Then we can see the layout of the building for the evacuation route and everything like that kind of thing. And is there still water? I don't see any water on the camera anymore. Maybe it fell off or something like that kind of thing. No complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I'm going to go ahead and just <sighs> unzip my jacket real quick because it is a little bit warm in here, I ain't going to lie. And I'm going to go ahead and just take off my beanie and place it on the washing machine. And wow, what a coincidence. This is what I want to talk about first because this apartment actually has a washing machine, which is not something that is super common for small Japanese apartments like this. From what I know, at least, 
I don't know how common it is. If you're from Japan or if you've stayed in Japan longer than I have, let me know how common this actually is to have in small, like non-family units, because this is very much a bachelor pad, I will admit, but this is definitely a nice to have. There's no dryer. There's a dryer down downstairs, but there's no dryer. I mean, either way, you can just put your stuff outside and everything like that kind of thing, or you can't today because it's raining. <laughs> I wouldn't want to put my stuff outside when it's raining, that is for sure. So I would be hanging my stuff up inside once it dries for a little bit, like on the edge of the washing machine and everything like that. I have my detergent right here wrapped in a little bit bag and everything like that so it doesn't leak everywhere. And then we've got the washing machine instructions. I haven't used this yet, so I don't know how to use it super well or anything like that kind of thing. Uh, but we can see opening it. I'm like, it's decent size kind of thing. It's decent size. Definitely worth the $30 a month just for the washing machine. I ain't gonna lie. Um, they're asking me not to use a lot of water and everything like that kind of thing because they boil water in batches. Uh, I call that the eco-conservative tactic to get people to lower your water bill for you eco-conservative whatever close enough you know what i'm saying either way they don't want me driving up their water bill and that's why they're putting that stuff up there uh, we can see circuit breaker right there you know what i'm saying and we can see there's a little bit of a, a plug right there that i've got plugged in because <laughs> there's no mirror for you to use to like shave or anything like that in this airbnb but moving on to the shower we can see turning on the light, but there is indeed a mirror in the shower. So what I've been doing every morning to shave is I have been, <laughs> I, I've been plugging in this uh, in, in my stuff to this right here. And then and I can see myself in the mirror in the, I can see myself in the mirror in the mirror. It's very weird. I ain't gonna lie. It really is very weird. But what I've been doing is I've been plugging in my shaver every morning to this and then just standing in front of this mirror right here. So I don't get hair everywhere and everything like that kind of thing. On the other mirror there is in the bedroom uh, so yeah that's that's what I've been doing you know what I'm saying that's what I've been doing so I've been shaving in the shower I do suppose uh, but the shower room I'm not gonna step inside because I'm wearing socks right now and uh, it's pretty wet in here I ain't gonna lie y'all but it's a pretty nice shower room it's a pretty nice shower room you've got two different settings for height for where you want your shower head to go we got a light right there a little warning label under the light mirror right here how's it going uh, we got some uh, body wash, bo bo sorry, that's body wash. This is two-in-one conditioner provided by the host. I appreciate it. Hot water, cold water, of course. And then we've got my toothbrush and my flosser from last night right there that I used, that, that, I, that I used, that I forgot to clean up. The bathtub is decent size. I haven't tried fitting in it yet, but I might have to just take a bath tonight in all honesty. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to the shower room. I'm a pretty big fan of shower rooms where you can just hose down the whole room and just, well, use it like a shower room. I'm a huge fan of that. That's something that I've never had before. Before coming to Japan, man, I'm losing my breath. <laughs> I've never used a shower room before, before coming to Japan though. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. I love shower rooms now. They're so nice. And uh, yeah, no, if I'm gonna have, like if I, if I was ever to like be looking at a place to live kind of thing or like buying my own home, or something like that kind of thing, and it had a shower room, I'd be like, you know what? This just jumped from like here to like all the way up here and everything like that kind of thing. That's how far it just jumped. Just having a shower room makes me want to live there. Um, the door though is a little, on the other hand, is a little bit finicky. It's not the easiest to close, I will admit, especially from this side, I don't know. If, oh, I just realized, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't notice this stuff before. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and open that back up because the lighting in here without this is uh, pretty dismal, I ain't gonna lie. So I, I tend to leave that on pretty much all the time just because it makes the lighting in here so much better. Uh, before moving on to any of the other parts of the apartment, though, I wanna just go ahead and cover the rest of the stuff that's in the front of the apartment. We've got the trash bins that you have to separate. So this is just, this is actually reverse. This is recyclables. This is the trash box. Uh, we can see my trash in there. We can see recycling with one alcohol bottle. Sorry, can, to say it correctly. Um, not much to it. Got to separate your trash and everything like that kind of thing. Makes sense, you know what I'm saying? We got a little bit of a hot water heater right here. Tea boiler, whatever you want to call it kind of thing. I'm going to turn that off real quick. But it gets your tea very warm very quickly. And I will admit, or not your tea, your water for your tea very warm very quickly. Almost too warm too quickly because I always overheat the water and burn my tea and it's never good I ain't gonna lie off. We got a little bit of a microwave right here. You can adjust 
the wattage, which is pretty nice. This is like a feature we don't get in the US. I know we can adjust it from like high to low and everything like that kind of thing, but it doesn't tell you what high, low, mid actually means. It actually tells you what that means here. And we can see 700 watt, 500 watt, 200 watt. And that is just so nice. I ain't gonna lie. And then it's just normal microwave. Nothing special, you know what I'm saying? Pretty small microwave if I do say so myself. Uh, moving on, we got a little bit of a mini fridge right here. Uh, in the freezer, we've got some popsicles. I bought some popsicles and these are pretty good and they're dairy free too. Certainly no complaints might be happy. We can see it's a very cold freezer because there's ice everywhere. And then moving on to the, uh, moving on to the refrigerator, we can see uh, there's nothing inside except for a can of alcohol. <laughs> uh, I got one of these, uh, alcoholic beverages for myself tonight when I was at a convenience store earlier, uh, but I haven't gone shopping in the last two days I've been here. I arrived on Wednesday. It's currently Friday and I ate all of the food I bought. Uh, so I'm actually gonna go grocery shopping after this video because I don't have anything for dinner. A pretty decent sized uh, micro refrigerator though. Uh, what did I just call this? Mini fridge? Yeah, pretty decent mini fridge though. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Pretty typical for Japanese apartments of this size from what I've heard. Then moving on to the kitchen area, we can see there's a IH cooking heater right here that tells me, and it tells me how to use this off, on, and then you adjust. We can just turn it on just like that, adjust it just like that. Sorry, it's a little bit confusing. And then we can turn it off just like that. Pretty easy if I do say so myself. We've got some canola oil right here that I bought at the store a couple days ago. We've got a cup right here. No complaints might be happy you know what i'm saying definitely was needing some water and uh that's pretty much all there is the kitchen sink little stuff heater food stove that's what you call it right little cup right there uh, moving on to the top we have my tea that i bought we have some pepper that i bought we have some salt that i bought and we have an empty package of uh microwavable rice that i bought because i don't want to throw this away just in case i forget how long i need to heat up the rice for uh, then we have some plates right here, two mugs and another cup, some scissors, and some silverware right here. And then we have all of my toiletry, toiletries that I just have lined up right here and everything like that kind of thing because it's just very nice to have them easily accessible right next to the bathroom. Then we have a rag. I'm really showing you all the details. I got to show you all the details. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to throw the rag up here though just so I can act, just show just so I can actually open the cabinet we can see got all the essential cooking utensils kind of thing I think this is a cutting board got a pan got a uh, what is this called uh, what, what is this called spatula got a spatula got all uh, all the essentials pick that up Got all the essentials and everything like that kind of thing. No complaints might be having them. Moving on under here, uh, we can see there's just some bags and uh, some like little drain things and a knife right there. Certainly no complaints might be half. Uh, we can see right here, this translates to light. This translates to fan. The fan works. The light on the other hand, which is right there, does not. I think the light is burned out because I took out the bulb shook it a little bit and there are pieces on the inside so must be burned out uh, we can see though here's the bedroom this is where i'd be sleeping all the time i'd just be sleeping on the toilet i ain't gonna lie y'all and uh oh, one thing i forgot to mention hot water heater and just turn it on like that and boom boom cannot complain you know what i'm saying cannot complain see i know this is the water heater pretty convenient if i do say so myself i i, I also love absolutely love how i can literally set the water to the exact temperature I want and get the exact same temperature every single time. That's something I've never experienced before. <laughs> I, I love it. I ain't gonna lie. I love it. I want one of these. I want one of these for sure. I forgot to mention that when I was talking about the shower though. Let's go ahead and move on to the toilet though. And turning on the light, we can see it's a pretty normal toilet. There's no bidet. You can wash your hands in the top of the toilet. There's a rag right here that used to, there's a, there's a, you, there used to be a rag right here, but I took it off. Extra toilet paper, a little trash can toilet paper, and a thing saying not to flush anything but toilet paper. It's a, no bidet. It's pretty much all there is to the bathroom. 
I almost forgot the word for bathroom. Yep, that's pretty much all there is to the bathroom though. Uh, let's go ahead and just close that. And let's go ahead and move on to the bedroom, which is right here. I say bedroom, but it's pretty much the do everything other than cook in the kitchen, go to the bathroom and take a shower room. In all honesty, I think I showed you guys everything I wanna show y'all for this area of the apartment. So let's go ahead and open up this door. I'm just gonna let it open real quick. And let's go ahead and take a look around the room. I'm just gonna go ahead and pan around the room real quick just for y'all to see. We can see there's a little bit of a light right there. There's a little beauty desk right here. My backpack's right there, a little TV. Here's the bed right here. Here's some place to hang your clothing and everything like that kind of thing, a little ironing board. There's the view, you know what I'm saying? I'll be showing you guys the balcony and the view at the end of the video. And then we could just see there's a little tiny table right here and there's a, what is this? This is a futon right here with an extra pair of towels and everything like that kind of thing, which is pretty convenient. I will admit I have not unfolded the futon, nor will I be doing that because I'm sleeping on the bed and I don't need to unfold the futon. You can't have two people in this Airbnb. It would be very cramped. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely wouldn't want to have two people in this Airbnb, but you can. You can have two people in this Airbnb and uh, that's what the futon right here is for. Moving on to this area of the room though i think i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the beauty area and everything like that kind of thing we can see there's a little bit of a lamp right here that is foot operated pretty nice if i do say so myself and then there's a little bit of a lamp right here that is not foot operated but it's much appreciated we can see there's no smoking right here yeah you're not allowed to smoke in this apartment or on the balcony Not very happy about it, I will admit. I'd really like to be able to smoke on the balcony, but it's whatever. It's whatever. I gotta I gotta walk 10 minutes that way to go have a smoke. It's it's whatever, because Kyoto has some very intense no smoking on the street laws. And either way, I don't want to do that because apparently it's considered disrespectful. So I'm trying to avoid smoking on the street in Japan as much as I can, unless there's an ashtray right there, and then I'm gonna smoke on the street because there's an ashtray right there. So it must be okay, right? But Besides the lamp and besides the lamp right here, we can see there's a little bit of a mirror right here and everything like that kind of thing. We can see I have my laptop set up right here, my snuff right there, you know what I'm saying? And then we can see there's just a little bit of a drawer right here and everything like that, which I'm not using because I hate drawers. And then we have another drawer right there and another drawer right there. I actually do have something in this drawer right here, but I can't show y'all because I'm saving that for a future video. And we have a little bit of a chair right here, not very comfy, but it does the job. And I have my little... Ooh, custom tote bag right there. I made a Uniqlo. Joe Mama, get, get, got, get, got. I'm not going to show you guys the inside of the tote bag either because it's got stuff in it that I'm going to be using for future videos. And we got my slippers right there too. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to this area. Pretty nice little beauty station, I will admit. Then moving on to the little TV area right here, we can see tiny little flat screen TV. But I mean, like, hey, they're flexing kind of thing. They got a flat screen, bruh. They got a flat screen. What do you mean it's not a CRT? Yo, flat screens, that's a flex. Even when it is only like uh, 18 inch flat screen, probably 20 inch flat screen, 20 inch probably. It's a flex because it's a flat screen. Look how thin that is. Look how that's very thin. That's very thin. Oh, it's actually not as thin as I thought. Still, it's a flat screen. We got the TV remote right there. We've got two packs of cigarettes that did not come with the Airbnb because this is where this remote is supposed to be because I can control the air conditioner with this remote, which is pretty nice, I will admit. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. We've got some stuff. I have a pen right here for drawing, a little cable tie, and a uh, three-pronged, two-pronged inverter that I use for my laptop. And I have two plugs right here on top of the bed frame, which is honestly really convenient, really like that. Got my phone right here, uh, which I just have sitting here in storage right now. This is what I watch TV on while I'm on vacation. Got my backpack right here. Under all of this, there's a box of tissues. There's the little house guide and everything like that. And then there's just some other stuff. There's a flashlight. I think this is a hair dryer and an ironer right there. Uh, pretty basic stuff, you know what I'm saying? Pretty basic stuff. That's pretty much all there is to this area right here. Moving on to the bed. It's a pretty decent sized bed. I actually do fit on it. I'm 6'1", and I fit on this bed, which is much appreciated, I will admit. And actually, every bed I've stayed at, uh, every bed I've I've slept on in Japan, I've actually fit on, which honestly was actually kind of a concern of mine because I'm a little bit I'm a little bit taller than the average Japanese person. But I fit on every bed I've slept on so far, which makes sense because a lot of the places I've stayed at, 
are kind of oriented towards foreigners. So I'd hope that the beds would be a little bit longer, but either way, certainly no complaints on my behalf. We can see I got the whole star sheet set up going. No complaints on my behalf. Uh, the bed, the mattress itself, oof, very springy, not in a good way. Kind of sticks into you, kind of springy, not very comfy, but good enough to sleep on. Good enough to sleep on. I'll take it. Moving on to this area right here, we have a shelf up top with a blanket on it, and I'm using that for storage. I got a pair of pants up there and everything like that kind of thing. Uh, we've got ironing board right there, a little laundry hangy uppy thingy right there that I'm using to dry my face towel and my normal towel right now that were damp last night. I've been hanging up all day. I got a Carhartt shirt right here. Let me just uh, flex. Oh, it's still. Okay. All right, let me let me just flex real quick. I got the Carhartt drip. I'm not wearing it though. Actually, sorry, I, I, I do got the Carhartt grip. I got the car, I got the Carhartt, got the Carhartt hoodie on right now. And got the futon right there. Part of the bed that fell off that I forgot to pick up before this video when I was cleaning up right there. Little tiny table right here. No complaints on my behalf. Got the blanket under it so I don't scratch up the floor by accident. And uh, it's also a lot more comfy if my legs are sitting on something like a blanket when I'm sitting on the floor. Because I'm not used to sitting on the floor, I will admit. This is where I be eating all my meals, though, and certainly no complaints on my behalf about that. And that is, I want to say, uh, pretty much all there is. Oh, I did say that I was going to show you guys the balcony and the view. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Move all this stuff back. You have to unlock it by pressing this up and then pulling that back. And then you can just step outside like this. I'm just gonna step on the very edge right now. Is this? That is not wet. I will step outside in my socks. It's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna go and close the door real quick. There is a little bit, this really doesn't wanna move, but there is a bug net as well, so you can keep it open. And the laundry thing is pretty much just hanging there. It's, it's, it's pretty much just hanging there. It's a definitely not cemented any, into anything. We can see the AC unit right here. A bunch of slippers that people never, n never, never brought back with them or anything like that kind of thing. And then we can see the view, which is pretty good if I do say so myself. Now, sadly, I can't smoke on this deck, but it is what it is. Gotta step on the bed to get over. You know, it's a decent balcony. Oh, would be better if I could smoke on it, but that is what it is kind of thing. That is what it is. Oh, I'm gonna step off the bed. Yeah, no, certainly no complaints on my behalf. This is a pretty nice apartment, especially for $30, especially for $30. Really, my only beef with it is one, I understand not smoking inside, but not being able to smoke on the balcony. It's a little bit, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of a shame kind of thing. It's a little bit of a shame. It is what it is though. It is what it is. And there's a 100,000 yen fee if they catch me or see any evidence of me smoking on the balcony. So I ain't doing that. I am not doing that. I ain't gonna lie on. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to. At the moment, the conversion rate is about seventy six dollars for a hundred thousand yen to USD, and I don't feel like paying seventy six dollars to uh, just have a smoke on the balcony and get caught. Not big on doing that. I ain't gonna lie on. So I'm not doing that. Uh, but that's really my only beef with this apartment. For thirty bucks, I can't beat it. Kind of thing. Thirty bucks a night, can't beat it. I'm in Kyoto for uh, the next couple days, and I'm looking forward to. Uh, my next couple days and everything like that kind of thing. So certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. And uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Would I stay here again? Yeah, 100%. I'd have no issue with staying here again in all honesty. Uh, but if I was staying with another person, I might be trying to consider somewhere else in all honesty because this is very small. Even if somebody was staying here as a couple, I still feel like it would be cramped. This is very much a bachelor's pad. This is very much a bachelor's pad, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, which is perfectly fine because I'm 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 staying here by myself. You know, what I'm saying I'm staying here by myself, but it is a little bit small. It is definitely a small Japanese apartment that is for sure. Yeah, I'd stay here again. Certainly, no complaints on my behalf. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, though. Let me know if there's anything in the comments down below that you guys think I missed talking about or anything like that kind of thing. And of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below go check it all out but yeah thank you very much for watching y'all to the next one stay safe and peace and have a great one yes sir yes sir you know what i'm saying i'm saying